Yeah, just in relation to the question about um, the sociocultural theories, and I, I'd also draw in um, activity theory because if you look at the influence of activity theory, it has been growing recently. And if you look at Engelstrom's um, diagrams, especially the triangles, one of my problems is that it appears from these triangles and other diagrams that you can literally cut space. I think that form of geometry, whether it's a circle, whether it's a square, a rectangle, or triangle, gives you the impression that you can actually create these boundaries which are linear and which are joined together in closed systems, and that literally the space has been cut. Whereas actually, space is all pervasive, that we can't do anything without a relationally dynamic awareness of space and boundaries. So my anxiety over some of the uses of activity theory are that they've created abstract generalizations which have lost a connection with lived experience. And that is my real worry about um, the traditional form of propositional theory. That, uh, that's why I really do advocate the creation of living theories. Draw insights from activity theory, but don't believe that their form of representation is an appropriate or an adequate model for human behavior or action.